Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. So today we are trying to uh, make another test, uh, trying to land again the Eagle Transporter uh, in the Moonbase Alpha pad. The last time we tried this it was uh, not very successful. The difference this time is that I have the uh, control, the ship controller on a precise mode. This part of the mission to land a rover on Earth. Uh, so the idea is uh, to have a rover here. Uh, now I have this drilling ship. So the idea is to have um, um, to carry a rover with a Eagle transporter uh, to Earth, uh, uh, a low Earth orbit, uh, so to speak, and uh, drop it on Earth. But the thing is that the Eagle Transporter then will uh, return by itself without a pilot. So we're going to simulate that today. So in the Eagle Transporter we have um, set the, the control, um, the remote control we have it set to follow the, the following points. One point above um, Moonbase Alpha pad, landing pad about 900 uh, 1900 meters and then it should go to the landing pad so and the here you can see that also it's on one way flight mode and it's also on precision mode so i hope this this will go better this time so let's go to the let's simulate the maneuver right so we have the 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 drill ship here and the first thing we should do is to disconnect from the eagle transporter so let's do that so if we look at the camera yes we're disconnected so we are um, descending let's let's go a certain distance to uh, to clear the the path of the eagle transporter so we don't have any collision and now here in the in the uh, in the remote access we will go to the eagle transporter and press control so uh, what what happened again uh, let's control the eagle transporter okay there it is transporter uh where is the control here this one okay ah there and now the autopilot oh that was strange right there so we should see oh it's we had a collision so okay oh we had a collision there But it's going, it's going to the to the base. Let's follow it. So we need uh, more um, distance. We need more distance uh, to to the Eagle transporter because we had a collision. Okay, but you see that it's well. This this autopilot is um, a bit. Um, You see how it controls the ship, right? So it's not very efficient. Well, one thing is that it's um, it has the, the the dampeners on, so it's trying to accelerate and uh, to increase and decrease the, the 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 speed at the same time because this is what the dampeners do. Okay, but it's. I think it's going well until now. I don't know what's what the damage is though. Probably our ship took most of the damage. I see. I saw like these parts flying away. Uh, 
Okay, it's descending. Well, I think not not yet. Like it's it's trying to align itself with. Uh, I think it's trying to align itself with a with a with a first position. Now it's descending. Now it's aligned and now it's descending. So, okay, it's aligning itself again. I think this is the precision mode, what it does. It tries to align itself. Uh, but currently it's a little bit... Um, I don't know if it should try to, um, to align itself again. Well, this is the problem with autopilot. It's kind of st stupid. Uh, there, it's aligning itself again. Uh, how is it going to do it? It's a little bit confused right now. It should be the other way around. Now, okay. Ooh, what is it doing? Wow, it's very inefficient. It's very... Look at that. What is it doing? <laughs> okay. Uh, now it's looking better. Oh, now it lost it. It's trying like to find the right position. But it's uh, following like a strange path to do that. Now it's looking good. Or better. Yeah, I think it's trying to. This precision mode is um, kind of inefficient. Also, it has uh, collision avoidance. I don't know if that's good, but it's it's um, spending a lot of time aligning itself. The problem with this is that it consumes uh, fuel and energy. And if it's not efficient, if it comes with like not too much fuel or energy, it will crash. I think it's not. <laughs> it's not working for some reason. I don't know what's, what it's trying to do. So, is it going to land or not? Nope, this precision mode doesn't. Should we try to... It's so confused. Like, what is it? Uh... Where is the controller? So let's try to remove the collision thing first. If it changes anything. Yeah. Collision is off. It seems to be... Yes, I think the collision thing was... Oh, but it's so in such a bad uh, 
Ah, look at that. I think it thinks that it reached its destination. It thinks it reached its destination. Because... Yeah, look at that. This is the, 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 the point here. This is the point, the alpha landing. And it's it it has aligned the the the, the um, let's call this um, the con the control the remote control element has um, it has aligned it to the to the base, but the rest of the ship is just not in a good way. So this is a shortcoming of this autopilot. Let me take control of the ship. Well, this is a pity. It's, it doesn't work. How can we rely on this? I need the. I think this needs at least two points to to be aligned. In a in a proper way. And the collision avoidance was really uh, also messing things up. Am I in the correct? I need to move forward. Yeah, okay, I think I'm in the right. There we go. Okay, so... I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Um, this is a problem. Uh, trying to 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 land the, the ship like to bring it back it's really difficult because you see this uh, here, this is the, the landing pad, right? Ah, but I see what the problem, maybe the problem is, I don't know. It tries to align this um, element with that one. And probably it cannot do it unless it's like really... Um, really in this in this weird pos position when when precision precision mode is on that would mean that i i would need to i don't know put it like take another um, place here like another another gps point Let's see. Really close. And then, okay. GPS. 
new from corn position and now here we will say um alpha base landing pad two there we go ouch okay and now we set again the control the remote control to um, let's take this one out and add the other one okay there we go so this is the, s the second one activate the dampeners and let's activate the lift yes i don't have much energy left in the batteries but let's lift the eagle transporter to about 2000 meters then we will fetch the drill and we will activate the autopilot again but without this precision mode so let's also i want to do that so it should be around 2000 meters Let's see if this works. Okay, so I will take out also the. Um, I will also take out this um, collision avoidance. There, and precision mode. One way, yeah, first to the above and then to the landing pad. Great. So I think we're ready. We just have to fetch now the the drill the mining ship and we will get close enough to activate the the autopilot maybe it could be that we can activate it from the base But let's see if we go here and remote access. Ah, look, we have access now. So control. And now. Ah, we are in the transporter already. Okay. So now the, where is the control Eagle transporter? Here. Let's activate the autopilot. I cannot I don't this is so weird um, for some reason I cannot no I cannot do this Ah, there, okay. Let's try it again. I think we, we don't have to control it there. So now the autopilot is here, it comes the old transporter.
it takes yeah well it takes time because it's um it's so yeah it seems to be aligning itself with a with a point there we go now it's descending It looks good. The only thing is that it will land in a in a, a little bit weird way. I don't know if it's going to align itself or is it going to wow, this is it's far off. Yeah, I think he ne he thinks that he reached its position. Oh well, guys, another try, and I'm disappointed here. Well, it it aligned. Well, it's not that bad, but you see that it is like making contact here. So where is it? The the you need like a really big area for this to work. But what I'm uh, but my fear is that you see here it's it's aligned with uh, the other point. It was this is a little bit better of uh, what we had before, and in this case it the the landing pads made contact. So that's also good because it prevents the ship from doing stupid stuff. Um, yeah, but the, my other concern is how this ship is going to align itself to the... Because it's such a, a large ship, right? And it should like come horizontal to the, to the landing pad. And if it's in a weird position, I don't know if it's going to like just um, not um, align itself. It's only worried about how the the this um, remote control is uh, positioned uh, compared to the to the to the end to the waypoint. So I think we sh we need more um yeah if, if we had another waypoint that we could align with the ship it would be it would be good Okay but we will leave it here guys uh, I think this attempt was a little bit more successful than the other one. Um, maybe I will leave it here in the, uh, the, the, the the landing waypoint. I will leave it in the moon base alpha. Now I added more structure to it. But as long as the landing pads are making contact, it should be good so hopefully the the next episode we will perform the mission of landing the um, the rover on earth and then we will come back and check what happened to the eagle transporter so i hope you like the video and hope to see you in the next one this is cyber settler signing off <laughs>